Hi everyone, my name is Fisayo and I'm also known as the Fisayo. I am in Nigeria, currently based in Canada and I'm a travel blogger. I'm on a cool growth journey. I'm going to share a lot of that today and I'm a Jesus baby. Welcome. Um, it is your first time here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Prior to this year, I have been focused on a lot of travel and tourism, a bit of inspiration here and there. Um, I say prior because this year, we're, like I mentioned earlier, on a growth journey. So things are going to be taking a new turn and I, I will be sharing as time goes on. Um, but today, I'm going to be sharing a bit about my Canada journey or where I have been so far. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube. Last time I was on YouTube, I believe, was on um, was in June 2021. And I'm going to be sharing where I have been, why I stopped posting, why I post what I post right now, what my growth journey has been like, the people that have been impacted in my growth journey, what do... Hmm? <laughs> Um, if you see me looking down by the way, I'm looking at my book. This is where I've written a bit of, you know, the things I want to share with you so that I do not just go everywhere. Also, so that it could help you navigate whatever part of this particular conversation interests you. I'm going to be putting timestamps in the description or maybe in the comment section so that you can go navigate there as well and see, you know, which of the content you want the most. All right, so let's get straight into it. By the way, for my people that have been here since, Hekabo, Hekabo means welcome back. <laughs> Hekabo, Sanu, what's the evil one? I don't know, evil people in the comments, please tell me what's the way to say welcome in evil. But welcome and welcome to 2022. It's our year of greatness, year of abundance, year of favor. It is whatever you say it is, okay? So decrease something positive for yourself. Um... So let's get straight into why I stopped posting. Before we even get into that, oh my god, I was just, I, re, I actually recorded this video, went to see what I had done, only to see that it was not recording. This just reminded me why I have not been posting. <laughs> oh my god, content creation can be so frustrating. You think you, you hit the record button or maybe you did and something happened and it just wasn't recorded. So, welcome to content creation lifestyle. I guess that's one of them. I first reasons why I have not been posting, but that's not the priority or the main reason. And like I said, I have written a number of thoughts down here. So, if you see me looking down, it's not so it's my book. I hope you're not distracted by that. Please bear with me. Um, but aside from the thoughts I have written down, which was based on my self-reflection, on my Instagram, I share a lot about... Not a lot. <laughs> I, I say not a lot because... Yes, I do share a lot about my journey, but I still keep a lot of things private. So when I say I share a lot, um, maybe if you go to my last five to ten posts, maybe you would see where I speak on my self-reflection with God, um, like spending time with God and writing down my thoughts and, you know, reading the Bible and things I've asked God and I draw it down and I take a picture like, oh my God, God did this, like things like that, right? So this is my book where I also write some of this self-reflection, which I'm going to be sharing with you. So normally I'm not, I'm doing this mostly out of the fact that the Holy Spirit has led me to do so. Um, because I know that he is going to bless somebody um, from this, right? And, and I'm yielding to the voice of God and being obedient. Like I, like I also mentioned, when I was doing this self-reflection, I did not do it with the intention of sharing it on social media at all. At all. Like, this was done on the 31st of December 2021. Today's date is 16th of January. Um, I did this because I do this regularly with my God. <laughs> I, talk, I talk with Him. And He tells me to write some things now and I just obey. And now He's telling me to talk about it with you guys, okay? Um, apart from like what I'm going to share, other things that I would say contributed to me not posting a lot is, you know, just mental Z was in there. And I always say, what's going on? Why, why am I not having the, 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 the zeal to keep posting? Even when I traveled to Canada, I did record a lot of things, which I'm yet to post. Um, but one thing after the other happened, my laptop stopped working. 
and for the whole of my first semester I, I did not have a personal laptop of my own i was using that of my roommate so the housemates i was living with earlier and shout out to you guys thank you guys you guys were so amazing thank you for giving me your laptop to use for six, three months and in december i got a new laptop and it was a macbook and macbook you know this is my first time having a macbook by the way <laughs> so on learning and relearning how to happen that's one too i'm used to editing on premiere pro so i had like it wasn't it wasn't as flexible to edit let's just say i have to learn to use final Cut pro which i've never used in my life before and i'm still on that journey right now so this video will most likely be edited on final Cut pro so it's been a lot of you know things happening up and down aside from that i have written down a few things um that i've been led by the Holy spirit to share with you and i hope it encourages you because i know the Holy spirit will be talk telling me to do this to help you or to help whoever it is that he has directed to watch this video by the way you watching the video is not a coincidence even though you're a returning self subscriber there's a reason why god recommended this video to you um i believe in the god of times and seasons there's a reason for this time that you're here that you're in this video watching this video <laughs> that's when you get into it anyways um so please follow along with me as i look down into my notes and i share so i said i wanted everything i posted to be meaningful not posting just for the sake of posting or following trends because you know on social media mostly instagram and tiktok there's a lot of trends i mean if you follow this trend you definitely get a lot of followers a lot of likes and honestly you can easily wear yourself out just doing things because of the trend like what for me i didn't want to do that um so my journey with god I'm, I, I'm by the way i'm a christian i was born in a christian home but there is nothing like having a personal relationship with god aside, aside from the re christian relationship that your family has you have to have a personal relationship with god and that happened for me in 2020 like my relationship with god deepened i've always been good with like good with god god knows me he knows me we're we're g's <laughs> but now we are buddies <laughs> if you could say if there's any difference i don't know the difference but i believe you get my point um in 2020 i grew a deeper relationship with god and this is when i became single initially i was in a relationship so i left the relationship with the intention to grow deeper in god and to search myself to know more about myself to know more about god and knowing more about god discover maybe discover more about myself and it has been an awesome journey right so um when i decided to when you know god more of god and you you experience the joy you experience the bliss you want to i mean it's part of what we have been called to be christ ambassadors to let people know more about christ through us through the life that we live right so i wanted to talk more about god like i wanted to draw people to christ let people know about the god that i serve let, let them enjoy the peace and the joy that i experience i'm like okay if i'm shy to talk to people face to face on the road maybe i can just start on my stories and share my journey on my stories or let me start from sharing the bible verses i read so like maybe it's just one person that will, you know read my story today or you know it's just the one person it doesn't have to be the hundred people that open my story or the 200 or the 500 just one person the bible says everyone rejoices for just one soul that comes into the house of the lord so or one soul that is one soul that is one so i was i started leading with that mindset that okay just one soul let me just do this for just one soul one soul even that's if you know part of the reason why this video is being made today because i'm listening to the holy spirit that god said do this video record this video share your story <laughs> and i and i tend to want to obey the leading of the holy spirit <sighs> um so i read my stories which is an instagram story by the way if you're not familiar with instagram stories that's what i'm referring to my stories where i share the gospel stem from me wanting to win souls for christ if my story was the only thing someone saw in reference to the scripture for the day i wanted this to minister to them it then became more of me sharing what i had learned from my bible study for the day and the other messages i believe will be of help to whoever opens my story for the day um I, so as you can see when i started experiencing more of god for myself not just what i had read i would also share which is what i've shared on my feed as well 
I gave my testimony about how my journey has been to Canada. It wasn't my plan to come to Canada at all. I always wanted the UK, but God had other plans and I just yielded to his plan and everything worked together for my good. Just, just God was just ordering my steps, everything. I didn't have to struggle for visa. I applied for visa in April. I got it in August. Like God likes to show off. Oh, God likes to show off. <laughs> okay, let me just share this. Um, my school was starting in August. Imagine getting your visa in August. Your school was starting in August. So you would have they, they would have been tension in the head. Say, so what's going on? What was going on? Because my school was already beginning to tell us that if you you're not in school at you know the first week of school, there's some ramifications. They were, they were just telling me some things that was making me like, oh my god, God, you have to do this. It's now or never. Lord Jesus, take on true. <laughs> Um, nonetheless, even with my prayers, I still had peace in my mind. I, like I had got like the peace that God was going to do it. Like I had no doubt that He was going to do it. I just wanted Him to do it fast. I wanted Him to go now, now, now. <laughs> and God did it. And a week after I got my visa, is it a week after? Hmm. A week after I got no, no, two weeks after I got my visa, I believe. Okay. So here's the thing. I use the company. By the way, I have written a bit about my story. I'm, I digress, I'm sorry. I've written a bit about my story, my four month story. Like I've been in Canada for, for four months. Right, this month to make it five months. Um, and I shared that on my blog, dpsire.com. You should go check it out. Now the company that helped me with my visa application called me. I was in I was in a wedding. <laughs> I traveled to Abuja for a wedding. And that was when he called me. I was even feeling it in my spirit. When something is going to happen, I usually feel it in my spirit. Like, this is going to come true. And he called me. I was like, oh, God, you did it. So, as I then, when he called me, my visa was ready. I was still saying, are you sure? I was still asking him so many questions. I'm like, are you sure? How do you know? This is just a mail. It's not giving me the stamp. So, while I was in Abuja, I called my brothers, my mom. Please send my, send my passport to the office so they can send it to the post office and they can do my stamp and all of those things. So, I think that process took two weeks. So, it's two weeks after I got my stamp, I, my sister and my brothers, I was all in, Can in, in, I said, in Canada. I booked my flights immediately. And that's all right, on his own, too, was another <laughs> testimony. Like, God was just strained off. Like, so many things happened in that span like oh, june july august like i would say it's the glory to god now why did i share that story i forgot <laughs> um yeah I, yeah yeah i was explaining that i was sharing my testimony about my journey to canada how it has been god and god alone and i shared a bit of that on social media on instagram and just to encourage people in the Lord as well, because we need the encouragement. We get the encouragement from other people's story. When people share their testimony, that's the idea of sharing testimonies to encourage people as well and to testify to the glory of the Lord. Okay, so I started doing more of that as I'm doing right now on this YouTube channel. And I've gotten feedback from people that say, Oh my God, if you say I actually open your story when I feel like I need the word for the day, and it usually always helps me. Like, I literally. That word for I like, saying your story for that day encourage me for encourages me for the day. And I'm like, God, this is you. You keep showing off. Like, how will I know what you're going through for me to post that? It's just God, right? And I'm, this is me just obeying God. So people say, Oh, I open your story and I feel joy, I feel the happiness. And and I, when I get all this feedback, it's just apparent to me that God is amazing and God is working through me. Um that's one. Or well, that's two. Also, I also wrote here that I stopped posting videos on YouTube because I wasn't fulfilled. It always made me sad um, because I felt like I was making YouTube a god or an idol in my life. Not just YouTube, like social media generally. When I don't get enough engagement, I get sad. When I get too much engagement, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> um, like, I was just, it was, it was directing my emotions. And how can you... I, why would I give an inanimate, ad, in, um, inanimate thing the throne in my life to be directing my emotions? I said, no. God, you need to take the throne of my life, not social media. I needed to excuse myself, like take this out of my life for now. Let me focus on God and God alone. Let me build my relationship with you. How can I, God, come and take the throne over my life, essentially. I was in a journey of surrendering my life to God, not just in words and I know I'm a Christian, but in actual experience i didn't want social media to control my emotions um yeah 
I chose to let God determine my happiness and have control over my emotions instead because social media was taking me, making me overthink and sometimes making me sad. So I have been enjoying peace. Oh my God. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't even feel like coming back because I'm like, yo, social media will be fine. I'll just keep posting whatever God wants me to post and that's why I'm here again. <laughs> um, social media will be fine. Because <laughs> um, I was enjoying the peace, like, it was just blissful and peaceful and joyful being in the presence of God. Ever since I prioritized God and surrendered everything to Him. His direction leads me so I know that and I so I know what to post part time that will bring joy to my heart because whenever I obey God it brings fulfillment to my heart. Um, without the worry of likes or the engagement or the followers. Another thing I wrote here is I want you to pay attention to this. I said instead of growth of church buildings, we should focus on the growth of church members. Instead of the growth of follower count, Fisayo, you should focus on the growth of the followers you have. Do you get that, Rema? <laughs> oh, maybe I should repeat that. Instead of focusing on the growth of the follower count, you should focus on the growth of the followers you currently have. God has given me influence of over, maybe on Instagram now, over 7,000 people. How am I encouraging them to grow? What influence am I actually wielding? Like, what's the influence? You're calling yourself an influencer. What are you, what influence are you having? If you're going to have an influence, make it for good, right? And that's me. That's me. So, <laughs> I focus more on grooming people, like, actually growing you. And I'm sure that when you're growing people, then they are grow growing as well. Um, it also helps grow you because if you if your focus now is on if uh, on the long run you still want to have I mean God wants us to grow by the way He says you shall be fruitful you shall multiply and you shall subdue the earth. Um, but how do you do that? You surrender, surrender to God, and this is how God is teaching me to do that. When I help grow the people that I'm currently like God has given me the influence over, they grow, they bring more people like they. Oh, have you that's just, just the way i'm talking about you know what has helped me so far oh, have you heard about fisayo go check her out go check her page out and that way you grow as well okay so talking of which there has been a number of influences on my um in my growth journey um i'm going to share that soon but i just saw that the next thing on my list was how i have grown and the honest truth that has led to my growth so far is my surrendering to God, praying to God, fasting, reading books, but I don't really read. <laughs> In the last one year, I haven't read so much, like spiritual books. Of course, academic books. I'm in school. I'm reading a lot of academic academic books. Um, so what has really helped me has been reading, watching a lot of messages, reading a lot of the Bible, the Word of God. Um both hard copy buying a hard copy bible really helped me <laughs> i'm so happy like when i hold it, i'm like oh my god this is a gift like i'm really excited when i hold my hard copy bible i have a soft copy of course but hard copy is different um listening to the, the word of god true messages worshiping god worshiping god worshiping god worshiping god worshiping god just you and god and being a community of people that also love God has helped me tremendously. So, I'm going to be sharing a few of those as well. Oh, one other thing that has helped me is journaling. Whenever I, and that's what I'm going to share with you as the, at the end as well. I pray and sometimes God tells me, write down this prayer. And next thing, I'm writing down what God has done. I'm like, oh my God, I prayed for this exact thing. And see God has done it. Maybe just a day after or two weeks after or one month after. Even my my canada journey I, I could track it i'm like oh my god see you this is what you did in the span of two months in the span of three months this is you so journaling has definitely helped like writing down my emotions i find out that i, I started doing ter therapy or counseling i find out that what my counselor told, does, tells me to do is what the holy spirit has been telling me to do for the past two years i'm like holy spirit is way ahead of you you know <laughs> so journaling definitely helps
all right so quickly i can see that the video is getting really long and i don't want it to be too long so i'm going to quickly share with you the people that have contributed to my growth so far maverick city music they've been amazing like i discovered maverick city music through um prom promises the song promises you know youtube does a lot of suggestions based on what you watch and listen to and i listened to promises and i started listening to a lot of maverick city music that i believe i listened to promises last year 2020 last year uh, march fast forward to june i interviewed the actual person that sang promises hey that is like god is just showing off in my life i'm not even going to lie to you because i'm like a whole duel band if you don't know him go research him or go check my youtube page out i have done a, an interview with him already a whole duel band from maverick city music <laughs> being interviewed by the fisayor <laughs> anyways yeah that was amazing and their their message the message they preach is amazing like in the like worship is actually a message to my heart because whenever i'm listening to the lyrics these days i'm more focused on lyrics of music that is all you know the word of god says guard your heart with all diligence because out of it comes to issues of life so i don't just listen to every music because the entrance of your heart so that the entrance to your heart is through your ears and your eyes and all of that so i'm very careful with the lyrics to songs right so when i see the lyrics is being shady i'm like nah this song is not for me back to maverick so when i um listen to the lyrics i'm like this is this particular part of those lyrics is in the bible and then when I discovered that this part is got it, it gives me a deeper joy in the song. Like their song is God breathed. Like God God breathed into the music. It is amazing. It gives me so much joy, so much happiness. They are anointed. You should listen to Maverick City music. They helped me throughout my journey last year. Because I discovered them last year. And I'm sure they would help you too. We define TV. We define TV has been amazing. They helped me with my growth as a woman, my growth as a daughter, with my growth as a friend to my friends. If you're looking to grow in every way of your life, like um, Pastor Jerry Flowers, and I love it when both of them preach because they usually preach together. They also have webisodes that has also helped me. Oh God, I discovered them in 2020, and they've been amazing. Please go watch their um, redefined TV. But as you get a community, this is a community of women from you know different churches. They just come together on TV, and, and I discovered in twenty twenty as well. Ah, I'm so happy to go. God has an amazing. When you search, you will find. That's what the Word of God said. When you search, you will find. God is just there waiting for you to search. And when I searched, I found a lot of materials that helped me grow. Um, better together community better together tv is actually what it's called but i call them a community because they're part of my community because whenever i need a word or something I'm, i always go there and i always find something from for me for that week or for that season that i am in and it was on there that I discovered stephanie Ike. and i was like who is this woman that sounds like a nigerian i'm like oh she's nigerian that's amazing i started looking out i found out that she was also a pastor um, um in early as well um, and I started listening to a lot of her messages and I miss, she is a prophet. Let's just put that. Like, Stephanie is a prophet. She's anointed. Please go listen to her. <laughs> and they start Christian Center. This is my home church in Nigeria. They've been a, like a major part of my, of who I am today as a leader in the tourism industry, as a leader in, you know, spiritually. Um, they start leadership center and leadership <laughs> this type christian center is big on leadership in case you didn't know and i i bless pastor nikki and some DM for listening to god and for letting god use them when they say they've helped me grow if the books they've written you know the messages they preach every sunday has helped me as well and sarah jake robert i have known her but i just began to consume a lot of our messages towards the ending of 2021 so yo this has been in a world of people i can remember that has contributed to my growth and i encourage you to go listen to them i guess i have covered a bit of everything and um, i'll be talking more about my canada journey in the next upcoming videos um if anything my encouragement to you is to start the journal journal your thoughts journal what you think whatever it is that troubles you write it down and ask god god this is troubling me help me out help me out take away this from my heart whatever it is that you don't want to be in your heart anymore give me peace give me joy direct me how do i get peace in this situation anything that steals your joy is not from god anything that steals your joy is not from god 
God has come to give you life and life abundantly. The devil comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. He steals joy, not just material things. He steals people's joy. And if your joy has been stolen, that is not God. So God, give me joy in whatever situation it is. That is my encouragement to you today. I feel like a preacher right now. What? I just gave you a whole 30 minute sermon. Oh, I don't know who's going to listen to this. <laughs> Lord, take control. Anyways, that's it, my people. I do not know what I was going to say after that because it got caught. What I say is I believe this has been a blessing to you. Please feel free to share this video with your friends with your family or with anyone that you love to join on your you know invite on this growth journey because honestly if you take this advice you're definitely going to grow inside out um so if you'd like to invite anybody on this journey with you share this video with them as well excuse me and like this video if you enjoy it if you've ministered to you in any way possible and what else <laughs> subscribe if you're yet to subscribe please subscribe join my journey <laughs> um what else do I want to say? That's it, my people. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for being here for the past 20 something minutes. I hope I, you know, added value to the time that you spent here as well. Till next time, do not forget to um, enjoy this journey with God. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it in the video before, but if I did not, um, I said the video before because I have to re-record this part because apparently what I was saying before got caught. Welcome to content creation life, somebody. <laughs> um, I was saying that I do not know how my content journey is going to be. Right now, I'm just being led. Number one, two, I'm in school. So I have school. Like school is a, is a master's level. So that is a lot to deal with. It's a lot. And I still have work aside of school. I still have a blog a size of work so work school blog and youtube right now i can only commit to youtube once a month that i think but if anything happens outside that that will be to the glory of the lord but right now i'm thinking of doing once a month for youtube and you know trying to manage my time with school as well because there's been a lot of investment in that area as well right so i'm going to be sharing a lot of my schooling journey too um uh, just if you're here to learn more about how to join uh, you know come on school in canada or you know any canada deeds feel free to subscribe and leave your questions below send me an email at eloadefisaya.com leave your comment i'll definitely look at your comment and respond as well and yeah i'm trying to think if there's anything i'm missing but if i'm not missing anything else do not forget to love yourself <laughs> prioritize god enjoy the journey with god and stay awesome, stay inspired. Peace. Love you guys.